If the kitchen's where you'd rather have your friends and family gather, you should hit the like and subscribe down below. And if filling plates and platters while maintaining flavor matters, then there's a stellar cook that you should know. It's Rain, the planet with a palate. They'll keep you fed and coming back for more. So come on, take up space. Rain will make a tasty plate. And tell the Diet Karens where to go. It's the Planet with a Palette Cooking Show! All clean. Hey y'all, it's Rain and welcome to another episode of Planet with a Palette. So I'm really excited. As you notice, I've been drinking different things each week. I pay attention when you tell me stuff in the comments. So when you're like, hey, where's your drink this week? Or like, what are you making to drink this week? So I'm gonna to try to feature something cool to drink with every meal. And this time I'm gonna make something that I love to make for me and the kids a lot. And that is blueberry lemonade. So let's get started. All right. Time for some delicious lemonade. And you know, the best reason to make a nice pitcher of lemonade is when you have a friend coming over. I have a surprise friend here now. I'm so excited about this, y'all. So we're gonna start out with some ice. I love all of my drinks nice and cold. I'm a big fan of that, but especially lemonade. All right. We're gonna throw some frozen blueberries. Mm. Blueberry lemonade is so good. I use frozen blueberries a lot. I love putting them in my pancakes too. Don't get me wrong, I love fresh blueberries for like a snack or something, but frozen works great for a drink because it keeps it nice and cold. Then we are gonna cut some lemons. I usually do about three to four lemons in like a two quart pitcher like this. Mm. Really depends on how tart you want your lemonade. Obviously, if you're one of those fancy people with a fancy <laughs> juicer, you can do that too. Uh, this just reminds me of how my grandma used to make it. She would like just squeeze the lemons. So that's what I do. Oh yeah. And then I love to put a couple of seeded lemon slices in just to make it look pretty and cute. Next up, we're gonna hit it with about hmm, a quarter cup of agave. There we go. I'm sure you'll notice I use agave a lot. Just to let you know, I recently found out that it actually has more um, carbs and sugar in it than honey. I like the flavor of it because to me, it's actually um, a little bit of a lighter sweetness than honey. I do love honey too, but it's not healthier for you. That's okay. We're cooking for flavor, not health. Let's put some water in there. Get a nice big spoon. Ooh, this looks so yummy. Always good to have a refreshing drink while you cook and while you eat. For myself one, oops, one for my guest. <laughs> I wanted the slice of lemon in there so badly that I wasn't paying attention to how full the cup was. So once again, we're making a mess in the planet with a palate kitchen. So all of you who told me I should have a Food Network show, <laughs> you see now why we're sticking to YouTube. So welcome. Thank you. <laughs> I know you've been to my kitchen many times, Ivy, but this is official. It's official now. Ooh. It's on YouTube. <laughs> they watched me spill everything everywhere. Cheers. Cheers. That's delicious. Thank you. Turned out pretty good. It's just like, it's not too sweet. It's not too tart. Mm. 
and it's not like watery like it's yeah blueberry lemonade mm -hmm. it's refreshing so i'm pretty sure i've been talking about you on this channel ever since my first episode <laughs> Yeah, because I made fried chicken. Yeah. And you were here. You've I been here, here for like a lot of the episodes. I have. Actually. I have. Yeah. Just eating. <laughs> yeah. Doing what I do best. <laughs> so this is my BFF, Ivy. <laughs> hey. <laughs> We've been friends for 10 years now. We went on a trip to the Bahamas. Oh my God. <laughs> for our 10 year friend anniversary. It was awesome. We did. It was a good time. It was really fun. We went on a cruise and we. Yes. Terrorized the cruise ship, basically. Yeah. Yeah, with both of fun. us on scooters. Yeah. We were having a great time. There were so many fat phobic people yeah, on the ship. Really, was crazy. <laughs> but to be fair, we was, gave them a show. Yeah, it was <laughs> it was really funny when both of our scooters would take up the whole elevator, and then we just had to start kicking people off yeah. because I'm sorry you can't. Ride it was with a small them. elevator, and like it didn't have a very high <laughs> weight limit, and our the scooters so scooters are a lot. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> Clearly it was the scooters taking up the weight capacity on this elevator. We had a good time. We had a great time. It was so fun. <laughs> we had some really good food on that We cruise. did. That was a good eating trip. We've been cooking for each other since we first became friends. Yeah, actually the first time that I came to visit you, like the second night there, um, you made me rain chiladas. Yeah, I did. But I didn't get to eat them <laughs> because they spilled them as they were pulling them out, out of, of the, the oven, oven. The whole pan. The whole pan. Much like they did with this lemonade. Yeah. So. <laughs> but no, because the lemonade, lemonade was still. Lemonade made it though. Yeah, yeah we were able lemonade. to drink it. But it the was, ranch alatas, <laughs> it was all over the kitchen floor. Yeah, it was, it was a disaster. It was so sad. <laughs> I honestly was just like, my heart. But you made me vegetarian chili. I did. Which I've sort of made into my own weird yeah. version now but i love your vegetarian chili thanks. i love all your food thanks you're awesome cook. i love cooking yeah that's why i'm gonna let you take the lead on this pasta primavera okay because i make a pasta primavera but it's actually based on the recipe you gave me yeah when we did a star brunch last year. yeah so i have like several different pasta primavera recipes like, and it's honestly one of those things that, like, it tends to change almost every time I make it. Same. Based on what I have, what kind of ingredients, what I'm feeling that particular day, what time of year it is. Like, right now, it's colder outside. So, I tend to make, like, a little bit heavier of food. But, like, Ostara is, like, the beginning of spring. So, I didn't want to make... It as heavy that time, so I didn't use cream. the heavy cream or the cheese. Oh. Uh, the specific cheese we're using today. I'm so I excited just use Parmesan. About it. So I love cheese. Cheese it up. Oh, it was good. so good though. And you sent me home with this like huge leftover portion of pasta primavera, which I over about. It was like a, a giant. Yeah, it was huge. I thought there were gonna be more people than there were. I think initially and then so in my head i was committed to making this massive thing of pasta and i want to say i made like two and a half or three pounds like yeah it was plus it was so loaded with veggies it was just like it had every kind of vegetable yeah. it was so it had brussels sprouts yeah oh, that's what i forgot it was so delicious yeah. but i do the same thing so when i make the pasta primavera i it's based on what vegetables do i have available pretty yeah. much I made it with all kinds of different stuff in it, but I basically took your recipe like yeah. I always do and do my own thing. Did your own it. thing. I'm really happy you're here. Oh, excited. We've been looking. <laughs> we've been looking forward to this episode because we cook together all the yeah, time. Yeah, we do. Like, it's like one of our like activities. Yeah, but... we never oh, would overdo it and just make three pounds of pasta <laughs> just because. <laughs> Wait till gator season, y'all. I use all different kinds of vegetables when I make pasta primavera, and today we are going to be using asparagus yellow squash, purple onion, tomatoes, and we have some peas that we're going to be adding in, but um, they don't need prepped. Broccoli and carrots. <laughs> I use all different vegetables uh, when I make this. It really depends. Um, a lot of times I'll use zucchini. Sometimes I'll put an eggplant, red pepper, yellow pepper, asparagus carrots, yellow squash, broccoli, sweet peas, tomatoes, and purple onion. Um, you can really use any color onion. I like purple for the flavor and for the color. Whatever you have in the fridge will work. Eggplant is good. 
broccolini is good zucchini is good it's all it's all good red pepper yellow pepper whatever you have will work you used brussels sprouts brussels sprouts that. yes i love brussels sprouts in this that's i wish i had i wish i had thought to bring some since you have so many different things that cook at different times my method is to stack them in a bowl or a pan or whatever after i wash them and cut them um based on the cooking time so the stuff that cooks the quickest i put at the bottom so the asparagus the shaved carrots the yellow squash and then i go to things that take a little bit longer to cook so then the broccoli and then the onion so that as i'm loading it into the pan to saute it i can go layer by layer and i don't have just like vegetables flying everywhere i save the tomatoes and i put those in at the very very last and i don't put them in here because they'll get squished and weird so we're gonna start with the asparagus this pasta is gonna be so chock full of veggies. I'm excited. <laughs> I love when you cook. <laughs> I love cooking with you. Yes, that's my favorite. Oh my God. We've got our asparagus. So with the asparagus, I always just break off the ends. It's um like that to get the, what would you call it? That you're like breaking off at the end of the asparagus. Is so it like, the head or the, the bottom? The, the bottom. where the butt of the asparagus. <laughs> But yeah, if you just, the part that like when you bite into it, it's chewy, you know, like you don't eat the bottom. Yeah, I never break them. I always really? cut them. Really? Yeah. You cut them? I cut them. That's so weird. So I break it because at the point where it breaks, you never lose more of the asparagus than um, you have to because it breaks at the exact point where it gets weird or where it starts to, yeah, I don't know. At least that's what my mom told me, so she could be lying. No, I mean, <laughs> I'm learning things. I used to use a knife, but I was ending up getting some of the, like, part that's still kind of hard. Yeah, like, yeah. it's, like, the, like, stringy mm -hmm. kind of, I don't know, you don't want to eat it. Because, like, every asparagus stock is different. I just had an idea for a children's book. Ooh. Every asparagus stock is different. <laughs> about all our unique qualities. <laughs> I'd read it. I cut them, um, I don't know, inch and a half to two inch sections. Um, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. It never feels good to you. Right, right? exactly. do carrots. Oh lord. Spraying myself. Now with the carrots, I like to shave them for personally. It speeds up the cooking time because they're thinner. You know, I like the texture. I feel like it looks prettier to have like carrot shavings than it does just have slices. It so pretty. You know, peel your carrots. <laughs> His little song. Singing the Suspiria theme, I think. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Oh boy. Making a mess. What we do here. It is. <laughs> Alright, that's here's... the name of the game in this kitchen. No, oh, you don't keep the peels. Interesting. The the outside? The outside. No. no. If it, if they were I don't know, I just I just don't. I probably should. There's lots of nutrients in it, I think. Yeah, oh, there is. Got it in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Now we're going to shave the carrots. All right. Now, me personally, you could continue to scrape this and you could like take this end I'm disaster prone I don't want to slice my fingers so 
I should save these. If my dogs were here, I would give them to my dogs, but um, that's a snack. <laughs> it's a fluffy under pug approved snack. <laughs> would you mind cutting? Sure. All right, so I'm gonna give you this. Here you go. Huh? Mm -hmm. I like to pull the broccoli apart a little bit when I'm washing it. Just to make sure I get any dirt out that might be in there. Squash. Cut up our onion. Last but not least, we've got the little tomatoes. Not gonna use all of these because Ooh. we need them later. So last season I had this amazing tomato tree in my garden. Do you remember it? Yes. I got all these tomatoes off of it. That thing was just like they were so good. They were good, but I have a tomato story about you. Well, <laughs> it's about your mom, actually. Do you remember those tomatoes yes. that your mom grew yes. and brought over to me when I was at your old house? Yep. For, it was for, uh, for the hurricane. Irma. Yeah, Irma. Yeah. When, um, when me and my family escaped the hurricane to your house, your mom brought us a big thing of her like homegrown tomatoes and they were like the best tomatoes ever to the point that my kids still refer to your mom as the tomato lady. She will be <laughs> absolutely delighted to hear that. She watches your show. What? Yeah, she does. She'll Hi. probably see this. I'm gonna keep these to the side. They take the least amount of time to cook. I like to throw them in right at the end. So we're just gonna leave those there. I learned how to use my bread knife. We're gonna start by heating up some olive oil and letting that get nice and hot before we throw the garlic in. I am so excited to use this. I have, I didn't even know what this was until I watched, I don't know, your first episode or whatever. Whenever you first featured this, mm -hmm. Gracula, and I saw it, I'm obsessed. I haven't bought one yet, but uh, I'm going to be. Everybody says he's the co-star of the show, like. He is. Yeah. I, I look forward to him every week. Oh my God. I love him. just once you start smelling the garlic that is when you're going to want to add your onions so we're just going to saute this onion for about a minute or two nicely. Next longest ingredient would be the broccoli. <laughs> oh, I'm 
underestimate how many vegetables I had. Just to kind of speed this along, and um, since it is piled so deep with vegetables, they're not really getting sauteed at this point. So I'm just gonna put this on for just a minute. Turn it down just a tad and let it kind of steam. steam. It's still, I mean, it's still, there's oil in it. It's still kind of, you know, we've got the noodles on. Well, we've got the water in the back waiting for that to boil. So once that gets boiling, then we can get the pasta going. That is looking delicious and beautiful. It feels like I'm filming like an art film about depression. <laughs> it's like sadly looking on a steaming pot of vegetables. <laughs> an art film about depression. All right, let's see here. Mm. Let's see. Let's see what time this is. I feel like that could use a little bit longer, actually. And here she stares at her steamed vegetables. The only joy left in life ever <laughs> since the depression came along. Put a little more salt and pepper in here. And I'm not too worried about seasoning the vegetables too heavily. Um, the sauce is going to be so flavorful that it really does not need a lot of salt and pepper or anything else really on the veggies. They're, they speak for themselves. I'm gonna add the tomatoes at this point in the game. Tomatoes. This looks so pretty. I'm ready to eat this. What a miss. <laughs> Uh, just getting these veggies ready. I heard you say sauce. it looks pretty. Can I it see? It does. You want to see? Yeah. Ooh. I'm ready to eat that. I know, right? They're almost done. And then I'm going to switch the pot to the front burner so that I can get a little more heat. I need like an industrial sized kitchen for these eats. Yeah. <laughs> industrial sized kitchen for our industrial sized eats. And it's funny because we both have small kitchens. Oh my God. The smallest. Like, Mine is, I don't know, I don't know who has less counter space. I feel like you might just because you've got, yeah, because my actual you have oven a doesn't work. And you're, you've got this corner here and then your sink. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like I have more counter space. Yeah. A I little think you bit, do too. A little, not much. So my kitchen's easier and more set up for yes. me because. Yeah. I, it's not very easy at all for me to stand. Yeah. And you're taller than me too, yep. so. I can reach things further than you. Yeah. yeah. So everything in your kitchen is literally just like barely Three out of reach for me. Yeah. Yes. All right. Let's see here. These veggies, they smell amazing. This whole situation is just. Woo! My body is ready. Let me. Oh, yeah. Here's. Oh yeah, that feels done. Yeah, this is done. We are in business. The veggies are done. We're just gonna let them sit. Still waiting on the water to boil. We had some nicknames at one point in time. I will not repeat mine because it was horrible. <laughs> but you were Lady Pasta. I was. Yeah. They were taken. They were. They were taken from a talent show I saw that was very cool. But my nickname is not YouTube appropriate. Salt so the water. You can use any kind of pasta that you want for this. Um, this is not my preferred pasta. I like like a cavatappi uh, or I cannot remember what they're called. They're like thin lasagna noodles. They hold the sauce a little better, but you know what? Bow ties will work just fine. Alexa, set a timer for 14 minutes. 14 minutes, starting now. Alexa, start a timer for 12 minutes. Second timer, 12 minutes, starting now. Do you want to name this timer? Peas. Okay, I'll call it a peas timer. 12 minutes, <laughs> All right. starting now. The 12 minute timer is when we're gonna add the sweet peas to the boiling water. Timer went off, time to add the peas. Hold that. So in addition to our delicious pasta made by the, the famous, <laughs> infamous lady pasta, I'm also going to be making a butter board. I'm so excited. Came up with some awesome ingredients. We came up with some awesome ingredients for one, and it's going to be so good. I'm ready. My body's ready. 
So for our butter board, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be doing some roasted tomatoes. Um, we're gonna, actually we're gonna air fry all of this. We're gonna toast these pine nuts. Um, we've got garlic, of course. Um, roasted garlic, so good. Pancetta, which it took us a minute to find this. Like actually I have to give Ivy props because she went on the hunt. And we're gonna just drizzle it a little bit. Oh, that looks good. It's gonna be so good. With a little bit of olive oil. And then we're also gonna hit it with the butterboard with some, um, a balsamic reduction and some fresh herbs. Ooh. Gosh, it's gonna be good. That's my pasta. I'm scared to dump this, so I'm gonna spoon this in until it's at a dumpable level. I feel like. Alright, I'm just gonna give this a stir so that the oil from the vegetables coats the pasta and it doesn't stick together. And that way we're not adding a bunch of oil, making it kind of greasy, which is not what we want. We're gonna just let that sit, and now I'm gonna make the sauce. We're gonna make the sauce, you're gonna turn your stove to medium. The original Pasta Primavera is not actually an Italian recipe. It is an Italian-American recipe. It's uh, a chef, an Italian chef in New York created it. The original one uses cream cheese, which I'm sure is delicious, but I personally love mascarpone, and I thought we would put some mascarpone in for the sauce that we're gonna do. And we're actually gonna use like a container and three fourths just because of the sheer amount of vegetables and pasta in this batch. Um, it's a lot. So we want it to be nice and saucy. After your mascarpone, you're gonna add some heavy cream. I would say about a quarter of the container, a little more than a quarter. Add just a little bit more dairy. I'm gonna put some milk in, like a quarter, quarter of a cup maybe. Add garlic powder, which I use quite a bit. Some onion powder. Not a lot of salt, but a little. Pepper, lots and lots of pepper. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. Doesn't really need to be bubbling like that. Just gonna give this a stir. Oh yeah, that's coming along nicely. Just want it to cook till all the cheese melts and all the flavors have a chance to kind of marry. We're gonna try the sauce. We're gonna just try it on some broccoli. Wait for it to cool down because I don't need to be burning my mouth. Let's see how the sauce is. Mm. That's good, but it needs a lot more seasoning. Hit it with some more garlic powder. Oh yeah, baby. We're gonna put a squeeze of lemon juice in. And by squeeze, I mean all of the squeezing. I don't want it to be too lemony, but it does give it a really nice flavor. All right, let's just try the sauce itself. Can I try it? Yeah. I think it needs a little more though. Let me give it to you on a, on a veggie. Ooh. Oh, actually, Deluxe. sorry. We pulled out carrot and pasta. That's fine. Deluxe sample. My Ooh. Oh, oh my God. Oh boy. I got it. Oh. A little more though. Mm-hmm, but it's going good. Turn down, this is getting too hot in the kitchen. More pepper, for sure, for sure. Okay, so we just need a little bit more. Make sure it's all seasoned up. And I'm gonna put a little more salt. I don't wanna put too much salt in because we're adding Parmesan cheese. Mm. And that is plenty salty. But a little more onion powder. Not gonna hurt things. 
Okay, so sauce is almost done. A little more pepper. You no. do the same thing I do. I season to taste. Yeah, I, you know, I I feel like it's the only way. Like, yeah. More onion powder. Just a little more garlic. And if that's not enough seasoning. Maybe I don't know what is. I think it's gonna be like just right. Especially with the parm. Yeah, that's what I'm adding now. I'm not even gonna taste it till I add the parm. You can grate your own. I bought pre-grated for the sake of time. I don't know, maybe a half cup, quarter cup to a half cup to taste, you know, whatever. Mm. Whatever tastes right to you is the right amount to put in. Let's see, we're gonna try it with a, okay. I'm gonna give you a bite after this one. Ooh, get your opinion. Ooh. All right, well, let's see here. This is like a perfect sample bite. I've got asparagus, carrot, a pea, a pasta, and an onion. Ooh. That's it. Put you a deluxe bite here. I'm just blindly stabbing. Oh, oh my gosh. Is it too hot? Are you okay? Mm -mm. Oh my gosh. Yeah, right? All right. So, woo. We are going to do the two final steps here. We're gonna dump the sauce in. Oh yeah, baby. We got some fresh from the garden parsley, which I just. Mm -mm. Ooh, baby, baby. That's good. Arthur came in to me the other day and he said, what happens when you lose your mittens? Oh. <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean what happens when you lose your mittens? And he was like, how the three little kittens had lost their mittens. He's so cute. And we've got some fresh basil, fresh off the plant. I'm just gonna give it, tear it up a little bit, toss it in. That is pasta primavera. Someone asked me on a, I was doing a live on my Instagram and someone asked me who's the better cook, me or you? And I could not answer that question. I literally was like, that's really hard. But honestly, after that sample bite you gave me, <laughs> I might be giving it to you. Ooh, let me just brush some dirt <laughs> off my shoulder. That is good. It's good. It's good. Ooh, I'm ready to eat. All right, I am. Mm, I'm ready for yeah. this next component to our feast. So this is our first butterboard. Yeah, we came up with all the ingredients together. Dead. So excited to make a butterboard. Yes, I'm gonna throw some. Yeah. I'm on top okay, of Okay, good, thank God. So for our butter board, I have the best butter, in the opinion of both of us, the Kerrygold Pure Irish Butter, and I have let it soften so that we can just get it onto this board. Just like dollop it on smear it so it looks cute. I've been watching all these like TikToks and stuff about food. I mean, I love watching cooking shows anyways, big fan. Some of my favorites, well, I've already mentioned my love of, Ga our, mutual our love mutual love of Guy Fieri. Y'all don't know this, but we actually, instead of celebrating Thanksgiving, because let's be honest, what they taught you in history class was not it. Um, we celebrate flavors giving every year. Um, and this year I made a Guy Fieri recipe, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which was in the holiday episode. The first year we did flavors giving, you started calling it that. I did. <laughs> and the, the first year we did flavors giving was so awesome because you showed up in a paper Guy Fieri mask that you had made and our whole group just ended up just, just hysterically laughing. It was such a good time. And that's just been the ongoing theme ever since then. I mean, it's just, Thanksgiving is about flavor. It is. Like, friends, family, and flavor. I'm so ready for next Flavor's Giving. Me too. We um, do a lot of celebrations with food. We both love to cook. We both, that's, I feel like food is a love language for both of us. For sure. 
Um, it's one of the things that we bonded over real quick. I'm wondering if you should have started in the center. Yeah, definitely. One hundred percent. I'm just gonna get butter for this. <laughs> <laughs> Any day's a good day. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold the front door. <laughs> we'll not finish that sentence. Yeah. So we're just building up this butter right now. I've never seen such a beautiful sight. You know what my dad always says his favorite food is? What's that? Butter. Butter? Yeah, if you ask my dad what's your favorite food, he's going to say butter. That's amazing. What's your favorite food? Oh my God, how do you pick? Like, I do have a favorite food, but it is hard. Uh, mm, mm. I guess it's, I mean, I, uh, one of my favorite foods is the Roman stuffed artichokes. Ooh. That is definitely in my like top. That was good. Top tier favorite foods. Those, since I was little, those have been one of my favorites. My favorite food is all forms of sandwiches. Yes, um, I didn't know that. Yeah, pretty much I say that if you put anything between two, two pieces of bread, it tastes better or just in some bread. So my favorite form of a sandwich, and I do, I'm going to stand by this being a sandwich, um, is a taco. And I, <laughs> listen. No. 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 I'm, I'm standing by it. No. No. I said I would, and I am. No. no. It's a. It's, you can be wrong. It's okay. You it's can like just the, say your favorite food is a taco. Okay, it is a taco. <laughs> but I feel like a taco is just like. A Mexican sandwich. Who wants no. Oh, good point. All right, we're going to throw some of these yummy, oh my gosh, pancetta. We almost defaulted to bacon because we couldn't find it, but that was just not it. This is it. This will be my first time having pancetta. Really? Yeah, well, because, so, you know, I was a vegetarian for, oh. like, 12, 13 years, right? Yeah, that's And right. I started eating meat only a couple years ago, that's but true. I have not tried oh. a ton of different meats, and pancetta is one of them. You are in for so a treat, I'm excited. Honey. All right, we're going to stick these roasted garlics about. Oh, that is what I'm excited for. Mm -hmm. They're just coming apart everywhere. Love that roasted garlic. Thank you, Neurodivergent Brain, for leading me off track. But I was going to say my other favorite show is about to start again. My other favorite cooking show I discovered recently when my partner was here. We were watching the French uh, Top Chef together. And it was so awesome. I'm really excited because the new season is coming up. I got really excited because on my Instagram for Planet with a Palette... I saw a notification about Lillian Duche, who was like a contestant yeah. last season. And I thought that he liked one of my posts, but it was actually just saying that he had a new post. Oh. And when I thought he liked one of my posts, <laughs> I was literally like almost in tears. Oh I was my like, God. oh my God. I am sorry you had to experience that letdown. It was really a big letdown. But to be honest, like that's okay. I'm not on that level, bro. One day when Lillian Deshay likes my post, hint, hint, wink, wink, <laughs> I will cry tears of joy. Okay, these toasted pine nuts. Oh my gosh. Now this, honey, this is a butterboard. It's like if you had a pizza, but just insane. See? <laughs> a butterboard is basically a pizza no. made out of butter. No. I want to try that. You want to try the pancetta? Better than bacon. Is it life changing? Where have you been all my life? Mm -hmm. So I have rinsed some fresh herbs that we've gathered here. We have some sweet basil. We have some Italian basil. We have some oregano. We have some rosemary. And then I'm just gonna give it a quick chop. And as I told y'all before, when you're working with herbs, you really just wanna roll them and just keep chopping. And the more you do that, the finer your chops will get. I'm gonna chop these pretty fine for this. Now I know how my dogs feel when I'm like cooking something. <laughs> they're just like sitting there watching me, okay. waiting. So I don't wanna go overboard, but I am gonna put just a little harm on top. Give mm. it a little. I don't wanna take away from the flavor, I just wanna add to it. Some cracked pepper. 
Oh my gosh. Oh. It smells so fresh. Oh my God. I'm dying right now. Oh, this is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love basil so much, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Ooh, it's herby. Herbaceous, that's the word. <laughs> last but not least the drizzle so when I watch these butterboards people usually go for like some nutty some salty and then some sweet to drizzle on top so um we came up with the idea actually I think you came up with the idea of balsamic and we decided on a balsamic um reduction because it's got a little bit of a sweeter flavor I hope you know I'm gonna probably scream when I try this I hope you do. Volume down for me trying all the food. So you can certainly make your own balsamic reduction, but for me, I thought it would just be easier just to. You know me, I'm a vinegar queen. It's true. Well, that's done. Woo! Bon appetit, y'all. Ooh, I'm ready to eat. Yes, this pasta. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, this looks so good, B. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to eat. Oh no, it's like the lemonade all over again here. I'm excited to eat this. Yeah. I'm excited to make a huge mess with it. That too, that too. Yeah. Well, you have a roll of paper towels next to you. I, so. Yeah, here you go, we're set. Gosh, this is so yummy looking. Okay, let's see here. Oh, well, that was the smart way to do it. Yeah, I was gonna see if you wanted me to just do yours, but. Yeah, I'm probably gonna want just... more on this plate, to be honest, so. Oh my God. Just a little I'm like, more. is this a, yeah, let's stop. That's more than enough. Is it enough? <laughs> There's an empty spot. There we go. Good, good. I'm golden. Ooh! All right, where's the lid? Right here. Okay. Right. I'm ready for this butter board. Oh my God, me too. Like before anything. Okay. I need. All right. I'm so ready. Oh my God. I'm getting into this butter board. Me too. Each got a little knife here. So we can disperse the goodness. So oh I kind of want a little that. bit of everything. I do too. I'm like, I didn't get any garlic. Let me get. Oh, did I? Garlic or butter? I know. I got some butter. pancetta. Oh, I do want a garlic. There's a garlic. Okay. Hey, I need pancetta. Oh my gosh. Oh, I need some herbs. This looks oh. divine. Okay, I think I got everything. Do we cheers? Oh, <laughs> cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Mmm. Oh my god. That's good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. The herbs, the pancetta, the garlic. That's so good. The balsamic. Mmm. Mmm. I love it. Mmm. I'm a fan of a butterboard. I love a butterboard. Mmm. Oh, that balsamic. Mm. Just hit. I gotta have one more piece before I do this. I'm sorry. Okay. All right, I might join you. I just. It's so good. It's really good. Oh, I just got a big piece of pancetta. Like. Mm hmm. Mm. 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 Yeah. That tomato is juicy, mm -hmm. though. It's good. It is good, but it just got me. Oh my gosh. Gonna need a napkin. Mm. Oh my god. Maybe I can get one. There we go. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, pulling a rain. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. I love the butterboard. I love it. I cannot wait to get in this pasta, though. Mm. Yeah, I am. Um... Oh. Mmm. 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 That is really good. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. It's got a little sweetness. Mm-hmm. Carrots. Mmm. I love it. It goes really, really good with the butterboard. Yeah, it does. Oh my gosh. Mmm. So you sent me home with that giant bag of pasta. And I'm telling you, I was like eating on that for three days. It was mm -hmm. just like. That's some good pasta. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. I love it. This pasta is so good. It's so creamy and light. Oh, don't mind if I do, Mr. Butterboard. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things I love about this pasta is that it's really good serve cold i think it is um but it's so good hot too mm. 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 this is so good this is delicious Mmm. I can't wait to hear if some of y'all are making this. Mm -hmm. The pasta primavera is so good. This butterboard is legitimately ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Okay. You know me. I love to make an ultimate bite. Mm hmm You do. Do you remember? I do. You know what I'm about to say. Mm-hmm. When we had that fruit and tree cheese tray, mm -hmm. and I stuck... It's on my Instagram story, mm -hmm. actually. Every piece of fruit and every piece of cheese together in a glob. Which doesn't sound appetizing maybe to someone, but to me, I was globbing it on when I was Your ready. The ultimate bite. The ultimate bite. I love it. Getting a something, a little bit of everything. I am addicted to butterboards. This is good. I mean, like, I knew it must have been good because it's trending. Right. You know, like, and I, I've been looking at them. I've seen people do cream cheese boards too, which also sounds good. Mmm. Mmm. Ultimate bite was a success. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> this is why I eat in the privacy of my own home. <laughs> Mmm. <laughs> so dainty. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm a mess. Mmm. This is... Like, it gets better with every bite. It's honestly so good. Oh my gosh. This pasta, though. Mm-hmm. 
The garlic, though. Oh. Ah! I could have put twice the amount of garlic on that, and I would have been happy. It's great, but... I Honestly, you know me. Mm-hmm. You could have put three times the amount, and I would have been fine four times. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Wow. You outdid yourself. This pasta is bomb. Thank you. Mmm. I love it so much. I am ever so slightly missing the Brussels sprouts. Me too. Just the nuttiness, but this is like, Me too. it's so good. It's creamy. Mmm. Mm. This is bomb. Mmm. Butterboard. What a delightful thing. I don't know who dropped that up, but... 10 out of 10 would do again. Yeah. Now I'm just kind of getting all kinds of ideas for butter boards. But this one. We nailed it. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, you don't have no pasta left. I finished it. <laughs> All right. This meal is successful. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Before we go, we wanted to shout out the planners here of the week, Ms. Katiana. Thank you so much for your amazing comments and participation in the live chat. Yeah. Live chat last week was so much fun, y'all. Um, thanks Katiana. You're always in the channel. I love having you there. Thanks for watching y'all like, and subscribe. Thank you for joining me in the kitchen today. Ivy. Thanks for having me. Mm. And this food so mm. good. Mm. So we're probably going to chill out, finish this up and hope to see y'all next week. Well, that was, let me, let me try to clean up your cup here. <laughs> I haven't even taste tested this. You got the one that overflowed. Welcome. <laughs> so welcome. Oh God. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. <laughs> ah! Ah! So these bloopers may end up at the end of our episode. <laughs> ah! <laughs> this is why we can't do anything. Okay. Okay. That's delicious. Arthur! <laughs> <laughs> Look at this mess I made already. Wow. That's later rain's problem. That's what we <laughs> say around here. I was going to say, you need some kitchen elves. Uh -huh. Oh, and carrots. Yes. What the carrots? It just all... Oh, broccoli! <laughs> Do you want good gator's hats? Nah, nah, too cheesy. Don't worry, we're gonna cheese it up in that <laughs> this episode. I was half almost like, ooh, that find you found on the way here. Yeah. I almost wanted to show off our antiques. Antiques. <laughs> <laughs> our antique of $2 garage sale find. <laughs> our antiques.